Hey everybody, Ranch in here, bringing you all the grand finals of the HANA Daitu MSL. Flash versus Jadong. It's been a while, took us a little time to get here, but we are finally here at the last stage. And it's quite a decent stage, it's, it's, it's tough to compete with what the Korean area is all going on, what with the finals being held, and a freaking airplane hangar! But you know, they try their best, they try their best. Nice looking stadium, we got Flash and Jadong stretching out, getting themselves ready. Still don't see any motor oil going on for Flash, but I expect that any minute now. And uh, Flash now is going to see how well he can recover after <clears throat> the Korean Air OSL finals after going 2-0 against Effort and losing 3-2. I'm sorry if this is spoiled to some of you guys, but seriously, it's been a week. If you haven't watched the finals yet and are watching these, you're just, I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, still, Flash vs. Effort was an absolutely magnificent final. We're going to see how well the MSL lives up. Um, of course, the last season was quite spoiled. The finals was spoiled for us due to technical difficulties. Is never reason you want for uh, finals to be spoiled. So we're going to see how this one is. But of course, come on, guys. It's the ultimate weapon against the tyrant. I just, I can't do anything but just be completely hyped up and be ready for this. I am soloing this. I was thinking of having Nuke along, but he had to cancel at the last second. Correct. Crap like this does happen, so don't no hard feelings to nuke. Please don't send him any hate letters. Or, you know, I can't stop you anyway. Go ahead and do it. It'd be funny. So the first time, we're going to have on triathlon. At the bottom left corner in blue, we're going to have the turn player flash. At the bottom right end in, I think it was purple. Oh, twitchy guys. Oh, my God. The flash just twitchy dies. It means he's going to win. That's, that's done. <laughs> Bottom right corner in purple as the Zerg player we have Jadong who looks like he's about to murder somebody as usual. Flash looks kind of twitchy and robotic. <clears throat> I think still people are predicting a Flash win overall uh, like they did in the last final. They're predicting that uh, as long as there is no blackout Flash will win. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. Maps are kind of up and down. Triathlon is an enigma. You never know what's going to happen. Match point is only played once, and it's a map that Flash has been... Well, he's shown a weakness to Zerg on that map, on that map so that's only played once. He's going to start off with a Supply Depot on his natural expansion, so he's maybe going to go for a pseudo wall or something like that. We're going to see exactly what he does go for, and Triathlon really has been very interesting in so far. I've seen some interesting strategies overall, especially from Flash as well. He went for a uh, Goliath uh, Vulture, Valkyrie, I'm sorry, Goliath Valkyrie type uh, anti-air build against, I believe it was Hyun on this map, uh, way back in round 32, and he did it with a great amount of success, we're going to see what happens, going to do some sinking, 30, 31, 32, for Jadong, I'm pretty much, uh, I'm expecting him to do something different here and there, but for the most part, I'm expecting him to go heavy Muta, heavy two base Muta, and uh, ride on that. Try to get some macro. Uh, try to hit the ma late game macro. Try to get more bases uh, than Flash can really fight back on. Try to keep Flash inside of his little corner. Maybe allow Flash his three bases. Natural exploit. Flash is going to take for now. Going for a wow. Going for a 14 CC. This is insane. Jadon is just sending out a drone scout. And he went for 12 hatch himself. And J oh man, Flash is playing significantly risky here. Going for this 14 CC. Sending out. And a CV right there, most likely to build a barracks. He's going to be able to fight back this drone, but Jadon's going to... We're going to see what he does, what Effort would do in this position. Effort's strategy in this position would be to just get as many Zerglings out there as fast as humanly possible and completely overwhelm. Get Zergling speed as fast as possible and completely, absolutely overwhelm the turn player. He's being annoying with a drone right now, doing a good job. It is not going to be able to do it for too long. It's one of the CVs actually goes off. Actually, no, he's going to be have to be able to keep uh, kept in there to fight back. As you're Jadon utilizing his drone very well to overall to harass, trying to get to the SCVs, building the, uh, getting to the SCV, building this uh, command center, not really doing any much damage there. And Flash kind of finishing up his wall there with a second supply to coming up. Although the drone's still getting a good, jo uh, good job of uh, getting the scout, doing everything. Gonna see refinery, very quick refinery coming down here for Flash. So this might be a, a 14 CC into a mech following. He did utilize this map to, uh, very well before. He did, uh, the build was quite a bit different, I believe. He went for his command center actually beyond the eggs. 
So this is definitely something different. We can see whether he sticks to his fundamentals, whether he actually tries to stick to his medic marines, floating his command, uh, barracks right now to send his SCV scouts, but he's probably going to be getting a lot of his uh, marines right now. And of course, compared to what he did against Effort in the OSL, going for the 14cc here, he has a nice wall off in. And Jadong actually, instead of going for Mazurk, is actually going to get his lair up and is going to hope to capture Flash with tech. Hope that he catches Flash completely off guard, catches Flash not ready for anything, catches Flash with not enough tech, not enough Marines, not enough turrets, and hopefully that'll be enough for him. Two Zerglings going to try to prevent that SCV from getting up the ramp, doing a good job so far. Flash, uh, I'm sorry, Jadong also going to expand towards the 3 o'clock position. He's going to try to kick, uh, get a twick, twick? Quick expo going there, CV they're mining out some minerals. Um, not quite sure how significant they are, not quite sure if we actually can move that out or not. Spire now on the way for Jadong. Doesn't have, well he does have some drones mining here and there. He still has that drone Jadong has inside of Flash's main. Uh, let it uh, get some of his life back. Now gonna go in there, spot the engineer base, spot the factory. Actually get floated up, gonna spot the starport as well. So Flash does look like he's going for an anti-air, possibly a Valkyrie build. Drone probably gonna get killed very soon by the Marines. There are Marines at the National Expansion and Marine here back home. But at the very least, Jadong know what to expect. He's gonna know what to expect. He's gonna know to get some Scourge out there. He might even start off with Scourge. He has to spire up. Might even get a couple of Scourge out there just to counteract whatever is gonna come out of that starport. Just to kill whatever early Valkyrie might come out. Actually, we're gonna see even more drones moving out. I'm wondering whether Jadong's gonna just try to go for mass over almost strategy. Of course, the big weakness of Terran player has when he goes for 14 CC, no matter what he does with it, he's not going to have any sort of maneuverability, he's not going to have any sort of map control, turrets now coming up as long, alongside an academy for Flash, so this might, uh, the engine mirror flashing as well, so this is going to be a switch back into Medic Marines, I um, I'm, don't think this is any sort of a quick drop strategy, I'd be kind of weird, but I think this might be some sort of Valkyrie anti-air, I'm not quite sure, because I don't see armory up anywhere, Jade, I'm going to expand a third time towards the upper right hand, 2 o'clock, Spire almost up for him now, Flash, I don't think he knows this is coming yet, has a science facility out now, so I'm confused, I think he's taking up all the way right away because he knows he can. He has, you know, his two bases, bases mining right away. He's going to just try to get that turn mech ball out there as fast as possible. Still only has one barracks mine getting his troops out there. So he's going to want to act some more barracks fairly soon. Going to go out there with CV at the upper right hand corner. Knows that something's funky. He hasn't seen any aggressive action coming at him yet. A couple of scourge being produced before anything else for Jadon. We are going to be seeing science vessels before anything else there for Flash. And it's also going to add a bunker at the front to help himself defend a little bit. It has his uh, initial medics out there as well. The Scourge is going to go out there, try to snap the initial science vessel. And at the very least, they're going to be able to get the scout. Gonna, Jadon going to spot, okay, Flash is actually going, f uh, trying to get a quick tech, go some quick tech going. Should have actually been able to spot that. Got taken up a turret, but should be able to spot, get the information that he actually needs. Two additional barracks being added in now. Queen's Nest then away. Jadon knows that he can safely tech up himself. And uh, right off the bat, this looks like it's just a uh, quick, quick, quick macro fest going you know usually you see this kind of tech going see this kind of stuff going up a little bit later in the game maybe but we're going to be seeing some quick hive evolution chambers now on the way for Jenning only producing one mutilus that I can see so I think he might be completely switching up knows that against uh, what he's going to be fighting against especially with that science facility uh, science vessels out there coming and radiate most likely on the way as well he's his mutilist attack is not going to be near as useful, but he has his fourth base up, so he's going to have that overwhelming strategy on the way. Oh man, nice scan. Should spot the Queen's Nest as well. Should spot the Hive on the way. Second Evil Chamber up, so I think Jadong's just going to gearing up, uh, start gearing up for a grand strategy. Try to get some uh, Ultra Lurker Defiler out there, I think just all the way. More science facilities now out there. More barracks being added in. So Flash is going to mass up an army off two bases. Hope that he can move out with that Terran ball. Maybe uh, beat the Defilers. That's going to be extremely important. Beat the Consume. Even if he delays it enough, he might delay it enough so that he'll be forced to fight. Uh, the Defilers might even come out. The Defiler might be on the way. But as long as he beats the Consume, he might push out and do a 